students in connection with previous lecture now we'll discuss about degree of ionization and degree of ionization is also known as degree of dissociation according to arrhenius theory the ionization of the molecules means electrolytes is nothing but the splitting of molecule into cations and anions means there is a formation of positively charged species and negatively charged species in the aqueous solution and the splitting phenomenon of electrolyte in the solution is known as ionization or dissociation of electrolytes we'll take an example for example uh, sodium chloride in a solid state when we take in a water there is a dissociation in a aqueous solution there is a formation of na plus in a aqueous solution and cl minus in an aqueous solution means there is a formation of cation and anion and these cations and anions are present in the aqueous solution similarly when we take acetic acid as an example there is a splitting of acetic acid in a water means in aqueous solution there is a formation of acetate ion and the h plus ion and that is a weak electrolytes earlier we have studied what is mean by electrolyte strong electrolyte weak electrolyte moderate electrolyte in connection with that we'll discuss about the degree of ionization the ions produced by the ions ionization of electrolyte combines back there is a formation of undissociated molecule and that is present in the solution that is aqueous solution and that phenomenon that study of interaction of dissociated ions and undissociated ion uh, molecules in the aqueous solution is known as ionic equilibria and this ionic equilibria is very much related to weak electrolytes and that weak electrolytes are uh, studied widely under the heading of ionic equilibria then degree of ionization how we can define degree of ionization it is nothing but the uh, ratio so how we can take the ratio the fraction of total number of molecules of the electrolyte that split or ionize into the cations and anions is called as degree of ionization or degree of dissociation the degree of ionization is represented by letter greek letter alpha alpha means degree of dissociation that is equal to number of molecules of ionized number of molecules ionized or dissociated in aqueous solution divided by total number of molecules present in the aqueous solution and that ratio is called as degree of ionization the degree of ionization is usually increases with increasing temperature increasing dilution and that value is maximum at infinite dilution and that's why degree of degree of ionization is very high at very low uh, concentration means at dilute concentration uh, in dilute solution that is very high and that's why the degree of dissociation depends on various parameters and will focus on that parameters the per, these these are the nothing but the different parameters listed in the uh, given listed in the table or listed in uh, list and degree of ionization of electrolyte in solution depends on the following factors the first one is a degree uh, nature of electrolyte then second is nature of elect solvent then concentration of electrolyte temperature and the presence of ions so these are the various factors affecting on the degree of ionization now we'll see one by one these factors and the first factor is nature of electrolyte in a previous lecture we have studied the various types of electrolytes various types of electrolytes means weak electrolyte strong electrolyte and moderate electrolyte and their dissociation and we know that a weak electrolyte dissociates partially up to 5% that is called as the weak electrolyte and means degree of dissociation of weak electrolyte is less while the concentration and the concentration is whatever it may be uh, but dissociation is low and the nature of electrolyte in terms of strong electrolyte the strong electrolyte is nothing but the electrolyte which dissociate 100 percent or fully in the aqueous solution is known as the uh, strong electrolyte that electrolyte uh, dissociates 100 percent there is a formation of cations and anions and these cations and anions are 
present in the aqueous solution. So, the nature of electrolyte is very important regarding degree of ionization. The electrolyte is weak, dissociation will be 100 percent weak and the nature of electrolyte is strong, the degree of ionization is 100 percent and it, it means it depends on the nature of electrolyte. The nature of solvent. So, this is again important parameter which we can explain in terms of nature of solvent and there are various types of solvents are there. Water as a solvent then we say it is a aqueous solution. When we use non aqueous solvents other than water that is called as the non aqueous solvents and the, elect, uh, the electrolyte dissociation is in the solvent plays very important role. So, the role of solvent is very important. If the solvent is having high dielectric constant, high dipole movement and then the degree of ionization of ionic compounds will be very high while the ionic compounds are soluble in the ionic solvents. There is a one rule in chemistry that is like dissolves like just like a friendship. So, like dissolves like means ionic compounds are soluble in ionic solvents. If we take a non-polar solvent, the non-polar solvents are insoluble in polar solvents. Then non-polar solutes we take and we dissolve in a non-polar solvent, it dissociates 100 percent means all organic compounds are soluble in organic organic solvents or organic electrolyte, uh, organic solvents means like dissolves like whatever the inorganic salts, inorganic electrolytes dissolves 100 percent in uh, water because water is a ionic solvent and there is a one rule uh, that is like dissolves like we can prove it and it is very interesting one. Then the concentration of electrolyte. So, concentration also plays very important and that study of concentration is very essential regarding degree of ionization. As the concentration increases, degree of dissociation decreases. It is very interesting. Cons actually, many of the students says uh, the uh, concentration of the electrolyte increases degree of ionization or degree of dissociation increases, but it is not like that. It is uh, a reverse one. As the concentration of the electrolyte decreases, the, di the dissociation of electrolyte increases and that is infinite at infinite dilution and is very interesting one. So, the concentration also plays important role in degree of ionization. Then fourth important factor is temperature. So, temperature uh, is playing critical role in the degree of dissociation and ionization is nothing but the endo endothermic process. Basically, there are two types of processes in the uh, reactions, endothermic process and exothermic processes. Ionization is an endothermic process, means ionization requires temperature, requires temperature, absorbs temperature, absorbs energy and dissociate the molecule that is called as the ionization. And due to endothermic process, it is very clear that degree of dissociation increases with increasing temperature and as we increase the temperature, degree of dissociation increases, even though we can manage the degree of dissociation with the help of temperature, with the help of temperature. Any strong electrolyte, we can dissociate 50 percent by maintaining temperature and that advantage we can take by uh, not for the uh, degree of dissociation, but uh, by using temperature we can. Uh, monitor the degree of dissociation of the strong electrolyte and we can obtain 50 percent dissociation by using this concept. Then the last parameter is presence of common ions. So, what happens when the common ions are present in the solution? The presence of common ions decreases the degree of dissociation or ionization is known as common ion e effect. So, definition of common ion effect is what? The degree of dissociation of weak electrolyte is suppressed by addition of strong electrolyte containing common ion. And the best example is inorganic qualitative analysis having uh, different, uh, different groups, group number second, group number third A, group number third B and we see the dissociation of weak electrolytes in presence of strong electrolyte that is minimized. For example, the ionization of ammonium hydroxide decreases in presence of ammonium chloride because ammonium hydroxide is a weak electrolyte and the degree of dissociation of ammonium hydroxide is minimized in presence of NH4 plus as a common ion and will get less concentration of OH minus ions and we can take help of this and we can precipitate many of the metal ions in the solution and we can use this technique, we can use this uh, 
particularly a point in the precipitation reactions in inorganic qualitative analysis and gravimetric analysis. With this, now we will stop here. In the next lecture, we will discuss remaining part. Thank you. Thank you very much.